is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission. If we wish to make it louder, we will bring up the volume. If we wish to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. We can roll the image. Make it flutter. We can change the focus to a soft blur or sharpen it to crystal clarity. For the next hour, sit quietly and we will control all that you see and hear. We repeat, there is nothing wrong with your television set. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to the outer limits. Hello folks, well I'm rather hoping that you got to see a um, small bit of footage from a 1963 TV program called The Outer Limits. This was a um, science fiction program that ran for I think a couple of years. Uh, and the reason I'm saying I rather hope you got to see it is um, I'm hoping it doesn't get knocked out uh, on copyright. Um, so many years ago, 60 years, with a bit of luck, that won't happen. Um, if it does, you'll be watching the same video, but minus that introductory piece. And the reason I've put this introductory piece in is in the credits of this program was a photo of a galaxy which technically goes under the name of NGC 891, but um, has become known as the Outer Limits Galaxy after the TV program. And this galaxy is the target of today's video. Um, I was out last night, not today as you can tell, it's pouring down with rain here. And I was aiming to take an image of this galaxy. I've um, photographed it before. Uh, and yeah, I was quite pleased with it at the time. It came out sort of okay. Um, but the galaxy looks like a really, really dim galaxy behind stars. It's also extremely small in the field of view of the typical setup that I use here. Uh, so I didn't really know how it was going to turn out. I haven't processed the pictures yet. So what I'm going to do is take you back to last night and you can watch the sunset and stuff while I process the pictures and I'll see you in a while. I get the vibe that you're distant about you that's different I see it in your eyes something isn't right tell me again what I'm missing cause you're fading out we've been hit before tell me again just tell me again and I'll make it right
still raining outside as you can probably hear um, but anyway I've used time constructively to process my images from uh, yesterday uh, yeah and I'm quite pleased with the result to be honest um, so NGC 891 or the Far Limits Galaxy sits in the constellation of Andromeda uh, now most people looking at Andromeda including me would head straight for the Andromeda Galaxy which um, is a beautiful object to image regardless of what size scope you've got and this galaxy the Andromeda Galaxy sits about two and a half million light years from us and is about the same size as our Milky Way NGC 891 by contrast sits uh, about 30 million light years away from us so it's um, quite a lot further away and it's seen um, pretty well edge on so um, you can pick up a bit of the dust lane on, on the edge of this galaxy the image in the field of view of my Red Cat 51 scope was absolutely tiny and uh, when I was looking at a single exposure um, I, I initially I thought there was nothing in the picture that I was pointing in the wrong direction um, but I did sort of spot it and fair enough it was smack bang in the middle of the of the field of view so the the go-to function of my mount had worked really well but it was really really faint having stacked all the images and processed them you can bring out the um the the, the brightness of, of the galaxy but it is very small in the field of view however when you start cropping in uh, you begin to see more and more detail and what sort of pleased me about this particular image was there's a, a galaxy grouping nearby uh, called uh, I think ABLE 347 Galaxy Group so the ABLE 347 Galaxy Group is uh, 240 odd million light years from us and what I'm going to do now is to put up a negative of a cropped in picture that I took just so you can sort of easily see the, the bits and bobs that I'm going to be talking about uh, NGC 891 the Outer Limits Galaxy is clearly visible uh, in the top left in the lower part of the image are some smudges and uh, there's little dark smudges that you can see and these are members of the ABLE 347 Galaxy grouping what I was really really pleased about was to pick up another galaxy which I think is known as uh, NGC 898 uh, and this is a um, spiral galaxy also more or less seen edge on and roughly the same size I think it's a bit bigger than the, the Milky Way but the thing with this galaxy is it's 200 and 73 and a half million light years away by best current calculations so this is an enormous distance away and I was quite amazed to actually sort of pick up it, its shape and things rather than just seeing it as a, as a smudge and whilst this isn't the furthest distance object that I've ever picked up it's uh, getting on for it and to, to Put it into context when I take pictures and things of, of these galaxies uh, you're not seeing them as they look now uh, as you're seeing them what they look like when the light left them on its journey to my back garden and so uh, NGC 891 we're looking at what it looked like 30 million years ago uh, this little spiral galaxy NGC 898 we're looking at it as it looked like almost 275 million light years ago so at that time as the light photons left the galaxy heading for their 
journey to my telescope. Um, where I'm sitting now would have been uh, a fairly arid landmass, uh, probably not dissimilar to the uh, Death Valley in, in the US. And I find it sort of kind of really mind blowing that it's taken so long for the light traveling at the speed of light to get to my telescope. So yeah, all in all, I was um, quite well chuffed with the, with the image that came out, particularly because uh, my telescope is far from ideal for grabbing these very, very small, very distant features. Um, so yeah, in the end, I got about uh, two and a half hours of, of exposure time. Uh, I was hoping for three, but some of my images got wiped out by some passing cloud. Uh, I was taking 100 second exposures. So uh, yeah, I, overall, I'm pretty chuffed with what came out. So now I'm going to put up the image that I took uh, in three different sort of formats. One, the first one will be the, the, the wide field image where you can see how small NGC 891, the Outer Limits Galaxy, actually is in my field of view. And then a cropped in version where you can see the uh, Abel 347 Galaxy group. And finally, a more cropped in version just showing NGC 891 the Outer Limits Galaxy, and NGC 898, the Spiral Galaxy 275 odd million light years ago. So uh, yeah, I hope you, uh, you like those images. I shall put them up now, and I shall see you next time. Take care.